Listing Diario Editorial for March 15th of 2023. Inclusion is still an illusion. What the University of Caribbean has done by awarding scholarships for undergraduate studies for seven young deaf people is highly commendable. The idea caught on after the reports published by Listine on the case of a deaf young woman from Neva and other stories of children and adolescents with disabilities. Through the ombudsman, Pablo Ulloa, the seven deaf scholarships recipients will have a signed interpreter to carry out their studies, especially in information technology. There are encouraging signs that remind society that it has an unpaid debt with inclusion policies for the disabled to facilitate their access to education and work. Despite numerous laws, regulations, and a clear mandate from the Constitution, disabled Dominicans continue to be marginalized from the life opportunities enjoyed by others. An eloquent example is offered by the fact that 92% of the more than 450,000 people with disabilities do not attend school or university. The gap is huge, both at the educational and employment level, and this is a true national shame. Here, we have to move from words to effective compliance with inclusion policies to change the horizons of thousands of deaf, mute, autistics, blind people, people with Down syndrome, and motor disabilities, which are the majority. As long as this community remains marginalized from the benefits that the state must provide to its citizens, inclusion will continue to be an illusion, an inspiration that remain on paper and in the demagogic promises of politicians. For Listing Diario, voice over in translations by Indira Rodriguez.